Hello, and welcome to the second part of webinar. When we look at the premises of undertaking uh, impact investment activities, we can see several uh, needs that should be catered. Some of them are long-term, some may last a bit shorter, some we can uh, cater immediately or in a quite short perspective, some need more time because they are much more general or infrastructural one um, and simply it will last longer. But if we look at the problems uh, that may be solved quicker, like, for example, information access, uh, uh, which seems to be very important uh, problem in information society nowadays, we can point uh, already existing uh, solutions uh, that may be involved in the process of impact in investment. Uh, the example of such uh, solution is a private-public uh, partnership. Uh, so a kind of deal uh, which is uh, taken between uh, public institutions uh, and private sector, generally businessmen. In uh, that deal, we have a quite specific relationship between private and public institutions, but according to law regulations, uh, uh, we have a space uh, that uh, finally may solve social problems, and in the same time, it may give some financial benefits. So it's like a um, impact investment um, activity. Uh, in, so, in, the, in the solution that I'm talking about, we can, uh, we need or we can use several entities. And an um, example of that is a social bond instrument. Um, we need, uh, of course, a private part, which is uh, presented by investors, so it may be individuals, it may be foundations, uh, commercial banks or similar institutions. We um, need funder, of course, so we need a general uh, in institution, uh, which is a public one, like a government. So the, this institution realizes um, element of uh, economic, macroeconomic or social policy. Uh, we, of course, need somebody uh, realizing uh, or implementing elements of this um, social policy like ser service um, and provider. Uh, we also uh, need a, a kind of a coordinator um, uh, who plays uh, roles of intermediary. And, of course, uh, to find... Uh, this uh, activity are uh, uh, effective, we need a evaluator and that this evaluator makes uh, um, a social bond element of impact investment used in practice nowadays. What are the stages and what's the structure of um, that kind of, uh, or, or that example, of uh, impact investment. Well, when we look at the positions of uh, uh, entities involved in the social bonds uh, instruments or social bonds infrastructure, we see that, of course, first it starts from uh, investors. So investors uh, have a uh, possibility uh, to invest in the specific kind of in financial instruments that um, allows to uh, collect necessary amount of capital. Then uh, intermediaries that collect this capital transfer, um, uh, transfer this capital to service providers. And service providers are responsible 
to deliver services. If we take into consideration uh, information access, we may uh, imagine that these activity may be based on several actions, several projects uh, uh, making access to, to particular uh, kind of information more available to a specific group of receivers. Uh, when these receivers uh, confirm um, access, broader access to information, uh, it may be evaluated uh, by, of course, um, um, evaluators. So after a particular moment of time, we are able to check what is uh, the measure of impact and what is the measure of change in, for example, access to information of particular group of society. If evaluating uh, is successful, so uh, service uh, providers uh, uh, reached a necessary required level of um, specific uh, ratios, specific measures, uh, government, so indeed the funder pays uh, for success. It means that um, these um, uh, bonds are simply taken back from the market because they are repaid. And of course, the money uh, is transferred to, um, to investors. Um, one thing is uh, very important in, um, in this process. Uh, first of all, uh, we have to remember that investors uh, have to risk a bit. Of course, uh, we may uh, build a specific construction of that bond. Uh, so uh, this level of risk, this area of risk may be bigger or lower. But generally, in case of um, the service providers will fail, um, uh, well, the evaluation uh, won't, be, um, uh, won't be successful neither. That is a uh, premise not to pay for the success. Social bonds seems to be uh, seem to be quite uh, interesting uh, already successful in practice solution when we can reach uh, social goals and financial benefits in the same time so this is very good example of impact investment in practice What are the areas of impact investment uh, if we consider several delivers uh, of uh, such uh, activity, of such instrument or such projects? Well, as we see on the uh, slide here, we may distinguish four delivers of, uh, uh, of impact investment uh, projects. First, uh which is i guess quite obvious this is a government uh and we can point that uh well government is a naturally prepared uh player uh in this um, in this game uh of course uh we can uh distinguish social enterprises and uh, the role seems to be quite similar uh, to governmental, uh, but um, the range of activity may be a bit uh, smaller because social enterprises um, don't have um, possibility to create new regulations. Government is uh, obviously uh, in much better position in, in that way. Uh, impact investors uh, seems to be uh, in a more uh, difficult position 
because they cannot create the regulation, they cannot create the world they, they operate in. And moreover, uh, they have to focus on two goals. One, which is uh, impact, so social goal or environmental goal. Second is, um, uh, is the financial benefit. They need to receive um, uh, to receive a return, financial return or rate of return. Uh, otherwise, they are simply a kind of a social enterprises. Full part, uh, which uh, may be quite uh, unusual in this comparison, is the society. Because we can participate in impact investment individually by buying uh, goods and products from social enterprises, by encouraging investment uh, than uh, depositing um, our capital, promoting entrepreneurship or do anything which support uh, ideas and projects that we want to support and which are uh, important and valuable uh, in the process of solving um, today's uh, uh, world problems. What are uh, the dilemmas um, of uh, today businessmen uh, when we uh, try to describe uh, the profile of business and we want to make it uh, more uh, impactable than the typical businesses. Well, as we see on this um, on this table, uh, we can distinguish two extremely different solutions. One, of course, which is a typical business-like, so profit investing uh, only. So in that case, we um, we do business as usual, and we are not interested in any. Uh, parallel goal that company may realize. Um, if we um, think that some of our businesses, some of our startup may uh, solve uh, some social or environmental products, so we adapt the ESG part to mitigate risk and retain value, how can we measure uh, impact uh, investing. Well, um, impact investors uh, are uh, very uh, interested in uh, something which is uh, um, measurable. So they look for uh, financially viewable businesses that uh, have clear uh, rather simple and uh, defined uh, social or environmental outcome targets. Um, and to uh, succeed with uh, impact investors, uh, impact metrics needs to be prominent uh, in potential business plan, of course, and the pitch. Um, Investors uh, approaches uh, to uh, impact measurement vary uh, based on their objectives and capacities. And the choice of what to measure usually reflects uh, investor goals and of course uh, investors intention. Um, in general components of uh, impact measurement best practices um, if we con consider an uh, impact element, uh, should consist of um, uh, some uh, social uh, or environmental objectives uh, uh, that are relevant to, uh, to a particular group of shareholders. Um, uh, we also need uh, a set of metrics or targets uh, uh, related to um, uh, already mentioned objectives. Uh, and of course, it's quite important to use standardized uh, metrics wherever, of course, it's 
possible. Then we have to, uh, we, we need to have an idea how to monitor and manage the performance on the, on, of uh, MDTs uh, focused on uh, already taken targets. And in the end, I think also quite important is to report um, uh, this performance in the context, social or environmental context, are uh, relevant to uh, to uh, stake uh, stakeholders. So we uh, need something which is quite measurable uh, and which can what can be easily expressed in um, in numbers. Um, when we look at the uh, pros and cons uh, of uh, being impacted, there's no doubt that there are some limitations. So that, that, that the impact seems to be the most important limitation. But uh, apart uh, of that, uh, we can point that uh, there are plenty of uh, advantages of being impacted. And for example, impact investing challenges, the long held view, uh, that market investment should focus exclusively on achieving financial returns. Um, but, uh, well, it, we can also point out that um, uh, such investment, uh, kind of investment, can catalyze additional capital um, flows, especially in developing economies, and then it can stimulate private sector development. Uh, especially if it's not so active in, 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 in that economy. Well, uh, then uh, impact investment um, market uh, may offer uh, quite uh, viewable opportunities, very diversified um, uh, for investors. Um, uh, and of course, uh, it may be a quite attractive and different uh, source of uh, potential financial returns uh, for the investors. Uh, impact investment can compete with uh, traditional asset strategies, and sometimes it can even outperform. And um, finally, uh, what is probably the essence of uh, impact investment, uh, such investment, uh, may uh, be uh, may be addressed uh, to uh, some social uh, social challenges. So, if we look at the motives uh, of um, impact investment, we may uh, point that um, traditional aspects. I mean, traditional outcomes like searching for financial uh, benefits or mitigate risk. Uh, seems to be a uh, uh, parallel and rather obvious. Uh, the ex uh, such investment is uh, um, uh, meritorically uh, expanded by non-financial goals and non-financial motives, uh, and uh, we can see the the motive may be uh, very diversified because we can look for typical ones and the most common like uh, investor preferences to be pro-environmental or pro-social. Uh, we can uh, con uh, consider these motives uh, from ethic premises um, uh, or uh, we can consider it as a, a kind of a strategy how to change or improve investors' image. Um, but uh, we have to also remember that um, uh, motives for, in, uh, for impact in investment may be very personal and, and not so obvious, not so measurable uh, for uh, external observers. It may be determined by religion um, or uh, it may come from just a need of being satisfied. So it may have and psychological or emotional um, premises. So, but generally, there is no doubt that uh, um, these motifs are rather non-financial than financial ones. What are uh, the goals? Well, uh, as it was already mentioned, um, uh, 
we can uh, look for the areas that are related to major challenges affecting uh, our world. So it may be related to uh, activities on environmental protection and of course assets related to such um, uh, projects. We may consider green, clean energy and, and technology and all problems related to uh, energy efficiency, waste management and, and, and effective transportation. Uh, we can also um, uh, think about our projects uh, and, uh, respo for responsible consumption or production or um, uh, some kind of uh, uh, employment policy related to redu uh, reducing poverty and, and, and social exclusion. And of course, uh, in the social area, we can um, we can think about um, some basic services, for example, access to uh, well uh, or well prepared education and good and effective healthcare. Um, uh, when we uh, plan to, uh, uh, to, to to be part of uh, um, uh, in uh, impact investment project, and we try to design a business model. Uh, we usually go through uh, for quite uh, visible stages so phases. First, of course, uh, uh, we have to analyze uh, what is the current state of uh, our company or ourselves as a, a entrepreneurs. And of course, we have to um, uh, compare to uh, available or surrounding environment. And this phase may be called as an initiation phase. So when we try to look around and, and uh, see possible perspectives, then uh, when we see a possible gap where uh, our business model may be implemented, we can create idea for new businesses. And this element can be called as a uh, ideation phase. Of course, uh, after a uh, general um, uh, assumptions of, um, uh, of uh, uh, business model creation, we have to think about the reality. So we have to think about the customers and the resources necessary to do this business and processes that we want to do or profitability. So uh, this uh, is a very uh, realistic and, and based on planning phase called general integration phase. And of course, uh, when everything is still positive in our minds, so we consider it as a uh, as, um, quite visible and, and possible option, we go to the implementation phase, a phase where uh, or when um, uh, the model uh, that we plan uh, is simply applied in practice. What do we have to remember about uh, when we define uh, the impact investment business model? Well, first, uh, we have to uh, always think about the generating of social or an environmental and economic results generated by the project. Uh, Second thing is that we have to treat profit as a necessary element of the company's operation. And we should take it as a, a, one of the goal uh, that solves uh, social and environmental problems at the same time. Third, uh, we have to think about the significant uh, positive social or an and ecological uh, effect uh, while reducing the negative impact of natural environmental uh, environment on society and society. Um, we have to think about the sustainable integrated way of creating and delivering value. And finally, we have to remember about the attractiveness of uh, the value uh, proposition to both of the company's customers and other stakeholders. 
So what are the major impact investment business model elements? Well, I think the first one is an innovative uh, idea. Uh, and the result of idea should be the goal, soluting um, or contributing um, to some social uh, and environmental problems. And um, then uh, if we have an idea and a goal, uh, we can create the product or services that solves these problems. Um, and uh, when the product uh, is ready, we can think about other typical business-like features like uh, involving uh, um, uh, resources, uh, thinking about benefits, uh, products, uh, um, uh, employees, uh, uh, employing employees, and several typical business-like problems. So to sum up, uh, what is the most important, in your opinion, of course, element uh, which is crucial for successful impact investment business model. I hope you agree with me that this is an innovative idea. Without the idea, we cannot create a goal and then um, uh, important and valuable and useful um, product, which may be element of successful impact investment business model. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for participating in this webinar. Goodbye.